Greetings and congratulations to our amazing class of 2020 and our incredible class of 2021 and your beloved family and friends. A virtual greeting as well to the Holyoke Community College Board of Trustees, our faculty, staff, alumni, and all members of the HCC community joining us today. To the classes of 2020 and 2021, congratulations. You have accomplished something amazing during one of the most significant times in our world's history. It is my great pleasure to share this moment with you, a moment that celebrates not only an important milestone in your lives, but the resilience and determination you have demonstrated through a truly unbelievable time. In March of 2020, your academic lives, and actually your entire lives, were upended as COVID-19 became an international health crisis and forced us to transition to remote teaching and learning. Our HCC campus went from a vibrant community of students and employees full of in-person interactions and activities and sports to empty hallways. It was different. And then you adjusted. Soon thereafter, faculty learned new techniques for teaching remotely. Staff learned how to support you at a distance. You learned how to navigate new platforms and your physical classroom was replaced with Zoom meetings and Moodle sites and chat rooms. You found creative ways to stay connected like playing online Pictionary with your peers. You found ways to express yourselves academically through a webcam on your computer and you found ways to support each other, recognizing that we are all in this together. You went through personal struggles, professional struggles, academic struggles. We collectively experienced a challenging presidential election, unprecedented natural disasters, and a nation grappling with racial injustice. There were high moments and low moments and a whole lot of uncertain moments but you kept going. And that is why you're here today, because you kept going. I believe that your classes, the HCC classes of 2020 and 2021, will be recorded in history as two of the most extraordinary classes of Holyoke Community College graduates. In the midst of earning your degree, you had to pivot to completely different modes of learning, and you did so successfully. You faced uncertainty with compassion and perseverance, and you pushed forward with a relentless spirit. You possess what it takes to keep optimism alive, even in the darkest times. To presume and to expect the very best of others, and to not only remember our shared humanity, but to act on it. Our communities and our world need not only your talent, but also your thought, your insight, your courage, and your compassion. With these qualities, and with HCC as your foundation, I am confident that you can do anything. Making the sudden switch to remote learning was a significant, and I know, painful adjustment. While I'm gratified at how well you handled the challenge, I'm not surprised. You are part of an extraordinary HCC community. And when HCC is confronted with big challenges, we don't throw up our hands. We roll up our sleeves and look for solutions. That's always been part of who we are. This year, Holyoke Community College celebrates its 75th year anniversary. We look back at our history and marvel at the ways in which it has made us who we are today. HCC was founded on the simple but powerful belief that everyone deserves a chance to pursue and achieve a college education. Everyone. Soldiers returning from military service. Women entering the workforce for the first time after raising families. High school students seeking an affordable pathway to a bachelor's degree. Older adults seeking new careers and anyone who has ever been told 
that they weren't college material. Like you, each student who came before you found their voice and their passion at HCC. I hope you will draw inspiration from them as you look toward your future. Ugo Aye grew up in Nigeria, the son of uneducated parents. With discipline, a work ethic instilled in him by his father, and some scholarship support, Ugo earned his associate degree in nursing in 2014 and since then has been working in Western Massachusetts as a registered nurse specializing in home health care. A self-professed flunky out of high school, David Gruel, class of 1991, worked two jobs while attending HCC as a full-time student. Giving up would have been easy, but instead David persisted with the support of HCC faculty and staff. Today, he's the lead engineer on NASA's rover mission to Mars. More recently, and hopefully celebrating today, Samari Ramos, class of 2020, left school in the eighth grade. In her 30s, Samari's reintroduction to school came through HCC's HiSET program, where she earned her high school equivalency, then joined trans Transition to College and Careers, HCC's college free preparatory program. The 36-year-old Springfield resident completed her studies at HCC last spring, earning high honors and her associate's degree in visual arts. And finally, born and raised in Puerto Rico, Alexandra Santiago, class of 2021, relocated to Holyoke with her family after Hurricane Maria. Getting involved in college programs, leadership opportunities, and volunteering in her community helped Alexandra overcome feelings of hopelessness and uncertainty. Today, she becomes the first HCC student in our 75-year history to graduate with an associate degree in Latinx studies. Today, you add your story to these. Your story becomes part of HCC's past, present, and future and you inspire the next generation of HCC students. There is no question that the last 18 months have been difficult and the losses have been profound. What this time has taken from you was beyond your control. What you take from it, however, that is up to you. You know what perse perseverance looks like. You've lived it. You know how to walk through difficulty with fortitude and grace, and I'm truly inspired by you. I look forward to seeing your story unfold. These are uncertain times in many ways, but I feel so much more confident about our future simply by knowing that you will be part of it. For today, though, I hope that you celebrate. You have achieved something remarkable. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Each year, one faculty member is named the Elaine Marib Chair for Teaching Excellence. This award was established to recognize a full-time member of the faculty who exemplifies the characteristics associated with outstanding classroom teaching. It is my honor to introduce the 2020 Elaine Marib Faculty Chair for Teaching Excellence, HCC Professor of Anthropology, Dr. Vanessa Martinez. Hola y buenos dias. A few nights ago, my partner Jamie and I were snuggling with our little one Alejandra before bed when spontaneously she said, thank you. Overjoyed, but a little confused, we looked at each other before asking, Alejandra, what exactly are you saying thank you for? And do you know what she says to us with a big smile on her face? She says, thank you for all the love you are giving me right now. And I thought, wow, she gets it. In that moment, she knows how much we love her. She sees how hard it takes, how, how much hard work it takes to be parents. She sees all the hard work. I do to be the hashtag mama, Latina, scholar, activist, superhero. 
I know, that's a lot of pressure to put on a three-year-old. And yet, her thank you seemed to be exactly what I needed in that moment. I mean, it is 2021, and the COVID-19 pandemic continues. I am recording this speech because we cannot be together in large gatherings, and so I'm doing my best to share my pride and passion with the HCC graduates. Estoy haciendo todo lo posible para compartir mi orgullo y pasión con ustedes. Like the HCC graduates of 2020, I got to celebrate winning the Marib Award, Teaching Award, with my nuclear family, only with limited fanfare. HCC graduates of 2020 and 2021, I am part of you and you are part of me. Yo soy parte de ti y ustedes son parte de mí. To me, and likely many of you, the challenges of 2020 and COVID just felt like it would swallow me whole and that I might not survive it. 2020 brought work stress like never before and also an opportunity to spend more quality time with my nena. When childcare shut down for over six months, my two-year-old just kept asking me why she could not go out with her friends, why we could not go to parks, and why our regular outings on the weekends became just playing in our pretty bare backyard. I thought, I just might lose my mind. Instead, I tried to enjoy every minute with her, practicing Espanol more frequently. No fue fácil, pero tener más tiempo con ella fue muy especial para mí. When I paid attention to the world outside my home, there was a similar emotional contrast. Some people ignored science, an uncoordinated and negligent response by our federal government allowed a virus to continue to wreak havoc, and so many people have died. People of color were experiencing disproportionate loss at the hands of the virus, racist policing, and so much more. All this is true, and yet there is good we can choose to invest in even in the midst of overwhelming tragedy and trauma. Todo esto es cierto, y sin embargo, hay cosas buenas a las que podemos dedicar nuestros esfuerzos incluso en medio de la tragedia y de la trama. 2020 brought horrible harm and death, but also moments of hope and action. Classes of 20. 20 and 2021, que daño y que esperanza ven en el mundo? What harm and what hope do you see in the world? In the midst of all the daño, I saw my nena, and she was my hope. So in August 2020, in the midst of the pandemic, my team of four women of color launched our nonprofit, the Women of Color Health Equity Collective. We decided to focus our efforts on creating a space where communities of color and women have better access to maternal health, therapeutic services, and community support. I work every day to make the world a better place for my nena and other children, and I start in my own community. ¿Te atreves a soñar? Do you dare to dream? Do you dare to envision a more just and a kinder world. I want to share three steps you can take to change the world for the better by starting in your own community. Many of you may be like me, and so my advice is to look inward and determine what your passions are, who will support them, and investigate projects you can do in small ways to make great change. Primero, comienza a investigar poco a poco ¿Quiénes son ustedes? As I often do in my classroom to help students explore how their own social identity can impact the way they see the world and the way the world sees them, I'm asking you now, who are you? And what type of change do you wish to make in this world? Do you love book clubs 
Why not start one with friends or at a work or at work focused on anti-racism and equity? Do you love working with kids and being creative? Maybe you could start beautifying your neighborhood together, making murals, painting mailboxes, park benches. Your self-reflection and taking small actions can have ripple effects you may not even see right away. Segundo, encuentra tus personas. Find your people. They will help you figure out your passions and be a support when you are so exhausted you can barely survive. In 2020, we all experienced significant isolation and loss. And yet what I found was that even in the losses, surprising connections arose. I lost physical time with my parents and brother that live in Texas. And we all learned to treasure video chats and Zoom dinners as a family. It's not the same. And I cannot wait to hug them, hopefully soon. But it was better than pandemics before Wi-Fi. There were also several work acquaintances who upgraded from friendly to friends and then to chosen family, especially in times <clears throat> of need, like during my husband's emergency surgery and my own health challenges. How unexpected and important those connections became. Several of them are now my partners in research, teaching, program administration, training, and more. I would not be who I am without my supportive family and friends. What about you, class of 2020? Who are the people you can depend on, and how do you know? Who are the people who can help you with child care who you can share feelings with, like tears and laughter. You can ask for help with school or to vent about work. These are the people who you could and can work with to build houses, visit the state house, present research on environmental hazards, and give out food at a local soup kitchen. Working in collaboration to change our world for the better is just so powerful. Finalmente, actúa en tu comunidad y concéntrate en tus áreas de fortaleza. Third, take action in your community with, the, with your people by focusing on your areas of strength to make the greatest impact. As an academic, I am much more comfortable giving a speech like this one than writing a publishable paper, as sometimes. I need to do. In these situations, I rely on others to help me brainstorm, edit, polish my essays. Taking action in the world can and should start in your community. The actions can be big or small. They can be self-reflective or engaging of large groups. Remember, there are community agencies to assist, neighborhood mini libraries to build, book clubs to host, protests to plan, government policies to change, peer support groups to run, and so much more. And if all else fails and you need a little help, you can always reach out to me, and I am happy to make those connections. These steps are by no means exhaustive. In reality, I'm just hoping that they spark creativity and move you to action in your communities especially in times of greatest tragedy, when we all need it the most. To the graduates of 2020 and 2021, you are more than just survivors of a pandemic. Ustedes son nuestros soñadores, nuestros invernadores, nuestra familia, nuestra comunidad, y nuestro mundo. You are our dreamers, our innovators our family, our community, and our world. Gracias. See you.
Thank you, Professor Ellen Kogan and members of our choir for beautiful and powerful musical performance. Today's celebration of the class of 2020 and the class of 2021 is an opportunity to double the spotlight on our extraordinary faculty. It is my great honor to introduce the 2021 Elaine Marab Faculty Chair for Teaching Excellence, HCC Professor of Latinx Studies in Spanish, Raul Gutierrez. Good morning, everyone. Buenos dias a todos. Thank you, President Royal, faculty, staff, students, and family members. To the graduating classes of 2020 and 2021, you got it done. And you did it during a pandemic that still continues around the world. Some of us have lost siblings, parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, friends in the pandemic. I acknowledge and pay respect to all the people we have lost in the last year. Your persistence and commitment to your education is something to be proud of. You are powerful. Be proud, be thankful of this accomplishment, but especially be committed to solidarity. As an 11-year-old immigrant child, I learned to be present and committed to my abuelita, my grandmother. Mi abuelita Maria would always end our conversations with portate bien, which roughly translates to behave well. She even said that to me two days before her death. Those were her last words to me. Uh, mind you, I was in my, in my 30s by then. I used to respond to her with, 
I'm too old to misbehave, or I'm a good person, I behave. But she would repeat them, repeat it in syllables. Por ta te bien. For my Latino folks in the room, you know what I mean. My usual response was, okay, love ya. I never truly understood why she always said that to me until years later after her passing. What does she mean by this phrase? I truly learned the meaning of portate bien during this pandemic. For me now, portate bien is to carry yourself with love, empathy, and solidarity towards humanity. Don't fake empathy, live it. When you learn to embrace that you are sharing the world with other humans, you will truly succeed. It goes beyond being kind to each other. Robotic kindness is meaningless without honest and authentic solidarity and commitment to the common good and social change. To behave well is to know that in life there are causes. People come and go, but causes stay. As New Yorican poet Miguel Pinero stated in his poem, Seeking a Cause, which I will recite now, he died seeking a cause, he died seeking the cause, and the cause was dying seeking him. He wanted a color TV. He wanted a silk on silk suit. He wanted the cause to come up like the Mets and take the World Series. He wanted, he wanted, he wanted, he wanted to one more once, but he never gave, he never gave. He never gave his love to the children. He never gave his heart to old people and never did he ever give his soul to his people. He never gave his soul to his people because he was busy seeking a cause, never found his cause because you see, he never, never knew that he was the cause. I say you are the cause for change in the world. We live in a culture of individual wants and winning, but true happiness lies in the gives and in solidarity. While you inhabit this world, you have a great power to be a change, an agent of change in the world around you, but with great power comes great responsibility. Your great responsibility is to show up, speak up, stand up for others that cannot. Be it for immigrants and refugees, be it for civil rights, LGBTQ rights, environmental justice, criminal justice reform, and many, many others. You can't be neutral. Don't be a bystander. Give yourself to humanity and solidarity. For years, we have lived in a toxic and inadequate culture of winning. What does it mean to win? Many of you have had life, this pandemic obviously, and other things get in the way of your studies, but you didn't give up. Some of you started, some of you stopped, some of you came back, some of you took a break, some of you restarted. Jose Mujica, former Euro, uh, president of Uruguay, was right when he said, to triumph is not to win. To triumph is in life is to pick yourself up when you have fallen. In life, you don't win. You don't lose. You don't fail. You don't triumph. In life, you learn, you discover, you write, you erase, and you will be right again. You stitch, you unstitch, and you stitch again. The day you learn that the only thing that you will take with you is what you have lived, then you will start to live. Learn from your mistakes and be better as a result of them. Even Yoda said, the greatest teacher failure is. People say that things happen for a reason, and I don't know if that's true, but I know for a fact that life is what happens to you when you're busy making other plans, as John Lennon brilliantly says it. Life leaves you minute by minute. 
Give content to your life. A cause, the cause. If you're, you're the author of your own life, if you have a dream, una esperanza, fight for it. If you try to pass this dream of a better world to those left behind, possibly there will be a small breath of your inspiration in the world. And you will be a memory for others that will be more valuable than any monument or any title. You will be the hope, the cause, and you will be and it will be achieved by new generations. When I ever talk like this, students always say to me, how can I do that? Raul, come on, I'm with just one person here. Just know that the impossible can be achieved with commitment and effort. Life can trip you up thousands, a thousand times. In love, in work, in ideas you have, in, uh, in dreams that you want to achieve, but a thousand and one times, you have the strength to start over. The important thing is the road. There is no finish line. There's no winner's circle. There's no victory laurel wreath. It is the road you walked, period. What differences did you make walking the road of life? That is what matters. Pick up those that have fallen around you. As Chicana intellectual Gloria Ansaldúa said, do work that matters, que valga la pena. Valga la pena literally translates that's worth the suffering. Life is hard and full of suffering, especially the last year. But creating positive change in the world makes it worthwhile. So, to the graduates of 2020 and 2021, I have the pleasure to know and be known by some of you. Congratulations. Palante, compañeros. I ask you to do work that matters. Be you will be remembered as the class of the pandemic. I challenge you to strive for change. For the next chapter in your life, I challenge you to show up, speak up, and stand up in all your communities and all your endeavors. Simply give. If everyone se portara bien, like my grandmother told me all my life, trust me, the world will be a much better place. In your quest for a better world, I say to you, ustedes valen la pena. Thank you, Professor Gutierrez, for those inspiring words. And now, a member of the class of 2021, Chan Collins on the cello, performing Box Suite Number no. One Prelude. Thank you. 
is now my honor to introduce to you the HCC Class of 2021 Student Orator, Tucci Karuka. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the graduating Class of 2021, I would like to welcome all faculty, staff, alumni, friends, family, and distinguished guests to the 2020 and 2021 commencement of Holyoke Community College. My name is Tucci Karuka. I am an immigrant and a first-generation college student. If you would have told me when I first started school at HCC that I would be standing before you today giving this speech, I would have thought that would be the most unimaginable thing possible. Living in the slum of Istanbul, Turkey, barely having the means for the next meal, coming to America was a dream that only could be found in a fairy tale. In 2016, I left my mother and everything that I knew in the life behind to attend a school in the United States. Suddenly, I was in the United States, and I was starting American high school as a senior with no English whatsoever, clueless, not knowing anything around me. But I didn't let myself to be lost in the mystery of the new world I was living in. I studied and I studied and I cried and I cried. Living in the United States without my mother, friends, and everything that I knew was very difficult. I would cry and stay up all night trying to talk to my mother and friends in Turkey. I often questioned my decision to leave and consider giving up and moving back many times. But now I know that all the hardships were worth it. After graduating high school with honors in 2017, I started my college journey in the ESL program. I struggled many times because I knew that I had to work harder than an English speaker. Although I was scared, I wasn't afraid of failure because now I knew what success looked like. I knew that I had a great faculty and staff who made sure that I got the help that I needed it. I would study all day, eventually taking learning communities and honor courses. I am a proud ESL student because the ESL program is what got me here today. I can proudly say that I've created a strong family, not only within the ESL program, but also the Pathway program, True Student Support Service, the Green Key Honor Society, and the Student Senate. Each of these programs has played a critical role in my academic success, and I would not be standing here today without their help. They become more than just academic programs to me. Because I cried with them, I laughed with them, was rooted on by them, and inspired by them. I am so excited for the next step. I can't wait to transfer, then go to law school. It has always been my dream to become a lawyer and eventually a judge. I know I can do it. I can make it because HCC prepared me very well. I wish HCC was a four-year school. As a student, I consider HCC to be my home, and I know it is home to many others. HCC is a truly inclusive campus that welcomes people from all walks of life, immigrants, parents, people with all kinds of abilities, the LGBTQ community, veterans, and anyone who wants an education. No matter where you're coming from, what language you speak, or, or what gender you identify with, HCC is for everyone. Before I conclude, I must say thank you. Teşekkür ederim to the mother who worked day and night to make sure that my brother and I ate and I slept well, to make sure that we are educated. As a single mother, she did the impossible to make sure I am here today. My fellow graduates, we made it. To be sure, this is not a normal graduation, but we must celebrate ourselves and what we accomplished despite it seemed like the world was coming to end. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, many of us lost close family members, our homes, and others everything they had to this evil illness. However, we pulled through and showed the world 
that no obstacle can stand in the way of our success. I want to congratulate you, my peers, and by all means, this is no ordinary congratulations. This is a deep, extraordinary, well-deserved congratulations. As Nelson Mandela said, do not judge me by my success. Judge me by how many times I fell down and got back again. Let the record show how many times we fell, yet we stood up strong and ready to fight. Thank you. Seni çok seviyorum anne. No commencement, virtual or in person, would be complete without the smiling faces of HCC faculty and staff. The following messages are sent with love and pride in all that you've accomplished and is accompanied by talented musician and member of the HCC class of 2020, Christian Santiago, playing the quattro. Congratulations, graduates, graduates of 2020 and 2021. You have uh, shown your determination, your fortitude, and you really earned this degree. So, so proud of all of you. And of course, my health, fitness, and nutrition students have supercharged that you're going on or going to start work in the field. Best of luck and reach back whenever you need help because we'll be here. We'll be here for you. Take care, congratulations. Congratulations, graduating class of 2020 and class of 2021. Congratulations from New Directions for Adult Learners. Yay, congratulations to all my math students and all the graduates, you did it. Felicidades for Pathways, keep reading your emails. Congratulations. did it congratulations i am so proud of you and good luck wherever you go next congratulations hcc graduates life is a journey remember take time to enjoy the journey good luck hey graduates big big congratulations from all of your faculty members uh, your professors could not be more proud of you you guys make hcc what it is big hugs and high fives to all of you we can't wait to see what you do next Congratulations, graduates! You did it! You put in all the hard work and now it's time to celebrate. Woohoo to you! grads, you did it! Congratulations! This is Veronica Darman wishing you all the best. Congratulations, graduates! Woo! Hi everyone, it's Tiffany Kavanaugh. I just wanted to say congratulations to the class of 2020 and the class of 2021. I am so proud of all of you. Congratulations, Holyoke Community College graduates. I'm so proud of you.
Hola estudiantes, muchas, muchas felicitaciones en este día tan importante, el día de su graduación. Les deseo mucha suerte en el futuro. You did it! Congratulations to everyone who's graduating, especially the criminal justice students. We are so, so, so proud of you. You're amazing. Thank you to our faculty and staff and to Christian for his beautiful music. Now I'd like to introduce Bob Gilbert, Chair of the HCC Board of Trustees for the Conferral of Degrees. As Chair of the Holyoke Community College Board of Trustees, I extend our congratulations to the Class of 2020 and Class of 2021. Your graduation is a tremendous milestone and accomplishment for you, your family, and your supporters. Years of dedication, perseverance, and sacrifice have brought you to this moment, and you should feel proud of yourselves and confident that your degree is valuable, vital, and will serve you well. You are graduating during a time that history books will refer to as one when the world forever changed. Eventually, though, perhaps not today, you will realize that this challenging graduation year was an enormous opportunity. I ask you to embrace these challenging times turn the lessons learned into opportunities, and be a positive force for all that is good. Now, by the power vested in me by the Board of Higher Education and the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I confer upon the Holyoke Community College Class of 2020 and Class of 2021 the degree of Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, or a Certificate with all rights and privileges pertaining thereto. It is now my great honor to present the classes of 2020 and 2021. The graduates will be led by their class valedictorians. These are students who have earned 30 or more credits at Holyoke Community College and who have completed their degree program with a perfect 4.0 grade point average. Congratulations, graduates. You have earned it. Anne Marie Rose Arduino, Lauren Marie Bailey, Abigail Miriam Brown, Robert Warren Datz, Jamie Lynn Hessian, Ryan J. Kokoski. Nicole Lerfeld Schluter, Andrea Victoria Marchon, Vanessa Okendo, Emilia Selyukova, Brandy Page St. Romain, Nu Bao Han Tan. Kristen Maria Zambazakis, Melina Andrea Zambazakis, Rosa Kyung Un, Zedia Mona May Valenze, Kimberly Lynn Adamchek, Kara Adamites. Kingsley Isaiah Ajay, Selena McKeever Aguilar, Allison Rose Alderman, Diana Lee Alfano, Victoria Ann Alisea, Kyle Allen. Azaria Alivo, Giovanni Javier Almeida, Emily Mary Almonte, Liliana Alvarez Rivera, 
Fatima Amania. Ashley A. Antonelli. Jada Gabrielle Aponte. Anne Marie Rose Arduino. Camilla Arman. Adara Ash. Iris Ashby. Cam Jordan Bacon. Caitlin Bacon. Lauren Marie Bailey. Ariana Baribo. Hannah Barnard. Adam Adamu Bachuri. Dana Lee Bine. Viviana Bellin. Rachel Bellinois. Chelsea Ann Bergeron. Raul Alberto Bermudez. Ashley Angeles Berrios. Sophia Miriam Bay. Sandra I. Bay. Heidi Robbins Bilodeau. Jade Marie Blake. Julia Marie Blaniars. Haley Ray Boisjolet. Latoya Booker. Dorota Borowska. Paul Giovanni Borowski. Gail Suzanne Borsier. Monica Mary Broderick. Abigail Miriam Brown. London Brown. Amy Sock Sray Birdwick. Michael Joseph Burke. Sean Burke. Chantelle Burnett. Elizabeth Ann Busker. Brisa Lee Cabrera. Alicia Valentina Calderon. Samantha Talia Calvao. Willow Jane Caputo. Jessica Cardona. Kayla Marie Cardona. Ashley Sarah Carr. Sarah Jean Carter. Noah Casey. Jane Catala. Brianna Chabot. Cheyenne Montana Champagne. Destiny Jean Champagne. Sarah Brienne Champagny. Jordan Yvette Chapman. George Churchill V. Alexandra De Maria Clark. Austin Clark. Alexina Jeanette Clark. Samantha Ann Clement. Karina Amiris Clemente. Sharice Christina Colburn. Joan Arlene Cole. 
Bianca Heike Kohlflesch. Chan Varen Collins. Tabitha Marie Collins. Mariluz Colon. Gabriel Concepcion. Jake A. Constantine. Mary Ellen Conway. Amena Ekia Cook. Maria Correa. Megan Elizabeth Correa. Melanie Judith Correa. Stephanie Costa. Chelsea Crozier. Emily Crowell. Camille Antonia Cruz. Caitlin Cruz. Jocelyn Cruz Rosa. Todd Allen Cummings. Alexandra Corette. Stephanie Marie Cuson. Ashley D'Alessio. Juliana Lauren Darsh. Robert Warren Datz. Casey Lynn Devu. Charlene De Jesus. Stephen De La Cruz. Chanel Nicole De Los Santos. Amanda Karen Delore. Savannah Y. Demetrius. Rebecca Dennis. Savannah Catherine Despres. Brianna Diaz. Susangeli Diaz. Leah Janelle DiPietro. Sabine Dizdarovic. Caitlin Dohud. Amber R. Doucette. Chelsea Douglas. Danielle Deborah Duchesne. Eric Anderson Dunai. Jacob Dupuy. Tiana Dwinell. Karen Lynn Jevit. Brianna Eklund Fournier. Stephen Eugene Edmonds. Mariah D. Eggleston. Emma Ellison. Zachary Sean Irwin Stevens. Joseph O. Evborokai. Mohammed Hassan Farouk. Caitlin Bridget Feely. Kiera Jinx Feliciano. Melissa Marie Fernandez. Alec M. Ferrandino. Samantha Taylor Fett. Ashley Marie Figueroa. Emma Filev Mihalik. Andre D. Fitzgerald. Tracy Eileen Florida. Ashley A. Fleury. 
Victoria Catherine Fountain. Holly A. Francis. Alexandria Elizabeth Frascone. Brittany Elise Gann. Tara Ann Gagnon. Angelo Gambino. Ebony A. Gaines. Brody Garfield. Hannah Elizabeth Garon. Karen S. Gollin. Emily Ann Geen. Karen A. Jaguer. Vicki M. Jaguer. Rachel Lee Gilbert. Talia Glinka. Shauna L. Glucksman. Nadia Marie Gomez. Ryan Michael Gonsalves. Briseda Cristabel Gonzalez. David Nasir Gonzalez. Kiera Enid Gonzalez. Marie Angeli Gonzalez. Skylin Star Gonzalez. Rosa Gonzalez. Nash Gover. Goliana Sharice Grant. Kelsey Grant. Juales Guadalupe. Tong Tong Guo. Daria Guriev. Ariel Alexis Hackworth. Stephanie Hale. Ryan Hajdamowicz. Heather Lynn Hallbaker. Linda L. Hanley. Paige Maria Hardy. Zofia Harmata Wegrizinyak. Kaylee Michelle Harris. Lindsay Marie Hernandez. Shamira Hernandez. Stephanie Hernandez. Jamie Lynn Hessian. Caitlin Marie Holmes. Jennifer Marie Hudon. Elizabeth N. Ibwe. Morgan Lee Ingram. Zipporah Irari. Talissa Shanice Irizari. Rachel Reagan Jablonski. Monique Denesha Jackson. Tawanda Jackson. Jason Anthony Jagnerine. Megan James. Owen Shea Jarvis. Jessica Jensen. Tida Gianna. Felicia Naima Jimenez. Connor Jordan. Tori Danielle Juster. Diane Nu Karakus. 
Justin Hayes Kellner, Laney Madison Kleginski, Ian Kelly Knight, Emily Ruth Keeler, Ryan J. Kokoski, Inga Kondratiev. Anna Corman. Miranda Lee Cortez. Tara Lauren Kochevsky. Jessica Relief Krolicki. Britton Thomas Krakowski. Tuche Karuka. Ariane Catherine Labonte. Hannah Lee Labresh. Riley A. Lacaprusia. Samantha LaCroix. Chloe LaDuke. Garrett Raymond LaDuke. Jessica La Fortune. Matthew Mark LaJoy. Michael J. Lapp. Hannah Lynn LaProd. Lindsay Lane. Mildred Inette Lefebvre. Nicole Lerfeld Schluter. Travis Robert Laliv. Mia Angelina Leo. Karina Linares. Karina Little. Noah Robert Longpre. Brittany Lord. Melanie R. Lorenz. Daufon Lai. Isaac Patrick MacArthur. Kayla Mari McDonald. Nakita McDonald. Krista Matgillivari. Sarah Elizabeth Madsen. Jose Alfredo Maldonado Rodriguez. Magdalena Malishevska. Lynn Mann. Yelida Marquez. Andrea Victoria Marchon. Michael Lenny Martin. Alex Alberto Martinez. Hannah Elizabeth Maurer. Nicholas Kenneth Mayo. Fuang Tui Matza. Lindsay Gail McCall. Sabrina Patrice McLeod. Olivia G. McGrail. Christopher Scott McGrath. Hannah Ray McInnes. Amir Joseph McIver. Julie Eileen McKenzie. Riley Eileen McLaughlin. Natalie Medina. Glenda M. Melendez. Nanette Marie Mendieta. Bailey M. Merritt. 
Moira Caitlin Mihalik. Isaac Moulter. Sarah Monette. Samantha Anita Montanez. Laura Denise Moran. Kathy Moa. Nicole L. Moya. Hope Moynihan. Manuel A. Mundo. Isabel Teresa Navarro. Siddika Nevens. Oksana Joy Newell. Blaine Nichols. Kayla Lenid Nieves. Jacob Noblet. Michelle Norse. Alyssa O'Brien. Carolina Ocampo. Versavia A. Okrimenko. Amanda Oliver. Vanessa Okendo. Eileen Ortiz. Isaiah Ortiz. Naisa Ortiz. Jashira Marie Ortiz Rivera. Regan Elizabeth Oz. Julimar Otero. Candy Ogusu Asante. Catherine Marie Pack. Joshua Tyler Paulo. Jody John Paradise Thebo. Kateria Parish Segara. Vishnu Patel. Caitlin Cynthia Paul. Jasleen Perez. Jason Yamil Perez. Wanda Perez. Cassidy Peterson. Tamara Pierschalski. Natalia Postova. Amy Canneville. Sebastian Quintero. Amaris Ramos. Haley Marie Ramos. Jared Denise Remreka. Shireen J. Ranson. Jacob A. Raymond. Ashley Redmond. Maya Jordan Reed. Zach Charles Reiser. Antoine M. Rellerford. Estefany Maria Restrepo. Natanya Lynn Reyes. Shakira Kelly Reyes. Jessica Marlin Richards. Taisha S. Richardson. Sarah Riffenberg. Xiomara Rigal. Aaron L. Rivera. Cynthia Marie Rivera. 
Juan de Vélez Rivera. Soraida Lee Rivera. Nastasia Lynn Robertson. Katharina Anna Rochalski. Jasmine Rodas. Julia Lee Rodrigue. George Tyrese Rodriguez. Ruby Rodriguez. Samantha Mary Rodriguez. Sinel Marie Rodriguez. Joseph Manuel Roman. Carla Michelle Rosario. Samantha Pilar Rosario. Catherine Sarah Rose. Alexander Joseph Pinkava Rosenbach. Christopher Royster. Angela Marie Ruby. Dominique Russo. Daniel Alejandro Ruiz. Molly Ann Page Ryder. Fatiha Said. Genesis Scenes. Aliyah Jamila Sayant. Lauren Salomao. Haley Ines Saltaras. Samacha Sam. Abdul Sami. Nelly Ali Sanchez. Genesis Michelle Santana. Alexandra Isabel Santiago. Wilmarie Rose Santiago. Matthew Sawyer. Alex Henry Shanker. Jazz Schmidt. Margaret Joanne Schwartz. Emilia Selyukova. Julie Marie Sepulveda. Svetlana A. Shaligo. Christiane Elisa Sheldon. William Albert Sheldon. Brianna Nicole Shvetsov. Stephanie Sabina Singh. Shayna Skubashevsky. Dylan Stanislaw Slonka. Zeneda Smiley. Althea Anastasia Smith. Carmela Smith. Diamond Alexandria Smith. Piper Jean Smythe. Jennifer Snow. Kahari Casey Sorel. Shelby Lynn St. Ange. Z. Barr Stevens. Deandra Stewart. Catherine Ann Stewart. Jennifer Stiles. Alexandra Rose Sullivan. Musashi Alex Tajima. Savannah Renee Tardy. Kiara Coria Taylor. 
Alice Teal. Ilana Marie Thomas. Ashley Sharon Thomas. Raymond Thresher. Nu Bao Han Tan. Laura Toniati. Adelina Maria Torres. Edgardo Luis Torres. Joy Faith Torres. Justin Eric Torres. Sarah Toasty. Alyssa Jean Trabal. Melanie Turgeon. Kristen Maria Zambazakis. Melina Andrea Zambazakis. Rosa Kyung Un. Ashley Ugolini. Zedia Mona May Valenze. Kiera Elena Velasquez. Kayla Vincent. Olivia Marie Vincent. Sean Michael Viveros. Cooper Waynecheck. Alexandra Wallace. Jessica Lynn Walsh. Phyllis Wanji. Naval F. Ward. Destiny Watkins. Amber Lynn Watson. Lorraine H. Watt. Amelia Rose Weatherby. Matthew Marcien Whitcomb. Cassidy B. Witten. Tracy Ann Willard. Timothy Daniel Williams. Miranda LaShawn Williams Coleman. Corianne Rebecca Willingham. Vanessa Wilson. Kasha Marquise Wint. Erica Lenore Wolf. Kelsey Wallowitz. Eric Wood. Matt Stephen Wright. Xin Hong Wu. Jordan Lynn Wyman. Aaron Young. Katie Yvonne. Rachel Mara Zuckerman. Congratulations, HCC classes of 2020 and 2021. This is your day to celebrate the effort and dedication you invested in the pursuit of your education and the perseverance it took to make this day possible. As you celebrate, there are family and friends who join you today, virtually and perhaps in person. Commencement, no matter what form it takes, makes us keenly aware that we don't succeed alone. Please take a moment to thank those who have helped you get where you are today. And also remember the powerful example that you set for others by achieving your college degree. Your accomplishments is truly extraordinary. I hope that Holyoke Community College has been a place that provided 
a solid academic foundation for you to make a difference in your life and the lives of others. Where individual faculty and staff members touch your lives in ways that you would have never imagined. And that HCC ignited a spark of learning and provided you with inspiration to pursue your dream. On behalf of the college's board of trustees, HCC faculty and staff and alumni, you inspire us and you will always be part of our lives. Congratulations, graduates.